Okay, when we last left, we were looking at um, glass detection. Um, now we're going to go in, we'll go a little bit uh, into a little more detail. Um, and I'll show you what I know about the program. Uh, and, you know, this is basically what I use it for is above ceiling coordination. I don't um, really get into it all that much, maybe a few times a month. So. Um, but I can get around and get the job done. So hopefully um, you'll get some idea of how it works and you can play with it and from there and start getting creative. But uh, we'll go through these these tabs here. This is your batch tab. Um, and that will become a little more explanatory when, I, when we go into it. But you can add new ones, delete up to the first one. Compact, I believe, was, um, yeah, it... Uh, when you come in here and you get into your results, you can, um, and I'll show it to you. When you get into your results, you can uh, give them priorities and active, whether active, new, and then uh, this will clear out everything that's um, been resolved. And clean. I think it resets everything back to new. And then clear all erases everything and you start from scratch. And update, I think, um, reruns that. Um, items in the same layer. This is the two that I normally in here. You can get creative with these. Um, you can do clearances greater than or less than and, and, and whatnot. And compact. And there's one in here for insulation. New. You come in here, put new. And there's insulation thickness. Um, I've never had any success with it. Um, I just run a tolerance. And I'll show you how to do that. And, and then the select tab is basically what we went over the other day. Select. And you can select more than one with the uh, shift or control key. And run it against that. We'll start with the duct and the steel. Um, down here is where you're going to set this. And we set it to hard. We'll set it to zero. But you can run it at the clearance and then set it to whatever inches you want. Um, and then link. I'm not sure what that does. And this is your found. This is your results. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and restart it. And we found 21. Okay. And these two here is a compact and a standard. I mean, if you play with these, what happens is you're going to get um, some more details and more results from your drop downs. And I, I really don't think you need to get all that deep into it, but if you wanted to, you could. But there's our first crash. And we saw that today. And what they do is they go by these crashes come in here is, is, the hierarchy goes as far as um, the severity of the crash so this is the worst one I've got um, as far as the geometry intersecting each other and so that's not too bad and again you want to come over here and you save that viewport and we can add a folder call it HVAC and steel and we can name one, save it and we can rename that, drag it up into that folder and we can always come back to it or if we send this out to somebody they can then we can put a comment in there for it add a comment this needs to be moved by blah 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 whatever you could do in there see this needs uh, needs to be moved and you can give it an uh, active like okay we won't go through all those and do that but there's your next one and again you can take a picture of it say viewport you can rename it if you want to drop it in that folder 
And you can go back to that one, go back to this one. And this one goes, I believe it's for the last one you were at. No, I guess not. The, the one that's in the top. So if you go to start and come back to here, it goes to the first one. When you slick on a folder. And there we were. And you can zoom out, you can get a better. What, what you really need to do when you save these is, is you got to think about if you're going to run reports, especially that HTML report, it um, it, it provides a little thumbnail, and uh, you want it to be viewable somewhat in that thumbnail. So if you're in there like that, they're they're not going to be able to have any idea what that is. So, and it's just actually the same one, just a different piece of duct. And then you could go in there and you could rename these and and you could add a comment to this one. You could say class one class two and three are you know the same, needs to be resolved, uh, or approved, or whatever you want to do in there. Click OK. And you could rename it so that it uh that you can identify it, that those are two clashes are the same. And there we go, we got the same thing here. It's pretty minor stuff. Yeah. I'm not going to keep going through all these, but... And we showed you yesterday, you can dim that, and you could take a snapshot of that with your print screen if you wanted and you can save view yeah. and you can hide all I'm not sure what this stuff does auto reveal I play with I just I never got any results with it highlight all that's something different. Uh, this is, those are the two I normally use. I'll let you get the picture. And as you come down here, it tells you this is a, kind of a window of what's crashing. You got. 3D solid, which is this, this steel, and a structural member. Uh, and the 3D solid is a fire damper and a structural. You should see it's a duct accessory. And again, you could take a little snapshot of that, or you could. Into that. And again, you come in here and you can actually approve, resolve. And that shows up in your reports. And we'll mark a couple of those approved just, just so you can see it. Active, approved, approved. Resolved. You can see they change the different colors. And highlight, you should probably always have those on there. If you don't, you're going to end up, uh, you know, your items are not going to be highlighted. I don't see why you wouldn't, but there might be a reason for it. Switchback, supposedly send something back to AutoCAD. I've played with it, can't get it done. Um, sounds like something that I could really use, but uh, I haven't spent a whole lot of time on it, but I haven't got it to work. Actually, I'd like to see them do a uh, send a little layer back around these things. I mean, you could just search for the layer. <laughs>